uh, at this meeting. So what I hope to do is uh, share with you some of what we've learned um, about taming terror, the links between trauma and dissociation, and how hypnosis uh, fits in in the treatment of the uh, disorders that come in the aftermath of traumatic experience. So in my talk, I'll mention and describe how trauma elicits dissociation. Uh, I'll review the new criteria for dissociative disorders in the DSM-5. I was on the work group that planned the uh, uh, diagnoses of um, the, the dissociative disorders, the diagnostic descriptions, and the trauma and stressor-related disorders. And one major thing that's happened is that the, the new DSM, which, by the way, has the Arabic rather than the Roman numeral to indicate that it will be more flexible and changeable than the DSM. So what I want to do now is turn to the relationship, first of all, between trauma and dissociation. And trauma has often been called uh, speechless horror. It's something people don't know how to talk about, how to experience. And it is very common for people to dissociate during trauma. Most rape victims will tell you that they experience the rape as if they were floating above their body, feeling sorry for the person. themselves finding ways to maintain control over their mind at the moment that they're losing control over their bodies. You really don't want to get the big picture when you're in the middle of a physical assault or a traumatic experience. Uh, you want to just focus on the things you need to focus on to stay alive. And uh, you kind of lose control of your body but maintain control of your mind. And then what often happens to people after trauma is the converse. They regain control of their body and they lose control of their mind. They find themselves reassaulted by the traumatic memory.